so it's the it's got to be the hottest weekend of the year so far it is like unbelievable i shot a video a little bit ago but Jay and I are getting ready to go out for a bike ride. We wanted to go out early so that we could beat the heat. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to happen. But anyways, we've been preparing the motorhome because we are going camping Memorial Day weekend. And we're going to be going to Old Orchard Beach in Maine. You'll probably be seeing this after we come back. But we're going to just go up there for a couple of days. And um, we have a campsite in Old Orchard in the big rig section, which is not necessarily the adult section, but um, it is the least crowded section. There is an adult pool though that does not allow kids in it. So anyways, that's where we're going. We'll probably do a huge trail ride going up there and you know, going from Saco to Portland, Maine and um, the, the, I think it's the Eastern Trail, goes from just about where the campground is, and you can head north and you can go up to Portland, Maine, or you can head south and go down towards Kittery. We're going to head north, assuming that the weather's fine. So Jay's going to pack both the bikes in the back of the motorhome. He's going to go up earlier than I am. I'm going to go meet him Thursday night, and because I have to work Thursday. So I'm taking Friday off, and of course Monday's the holiday. So that's the scoop on that. But the bike ride, oh man, I hope I survived the bike ride. It is, um, Jay's putting the batteries in the, in the. I think I'm going to take Glenda, my big bike. I shouldn't say big bike, but Glenda is my street bike. And Sassy is my, my um, trail, you know, beach casual type of thing. So anyways, he's putting the battery in Glenda. We're going to go from the house here and then um we've been carrying my motorhome is a mess we have like dewinterized it uh, i don't know about a month ago but we never came out and packed it we never came out and organized and cleaned and all of that stuff so we did that and of course our refrigerator doesn't work figures we had the same problem last year an issue with the refrigerator but anyways hopefully we'll get that all resolved but right now we're heading to a bike ride and this will be a vlog i will obviously share some of old orchard beach with you guys here and then when i come back i'm gonna have my Mohs surgery so i am rather nervous about that i sure am but that's going to be when i come back on the first in the interim i'm going to try to have the best Memorial Day weekend that we can. So we're off for a bike ride and hopefully tomorrow, Sunday, we'll be able to get the rest of the motorhome done. And maybe we'll even be able to figure out what's wrong with the TV. Not the TV, the refrigerator. I doubt it. So we have a little college size refrigerator too that if we have to, we'll just carry that in here and we'll, because I know we're not gonna get anyone to service our, ref our refrigerator anytime soon. So, um, if we have to, we'll put the college size refrigerator in here, at least for the weekend, and then deal with the rest of it when we come back. So thanks for hanging in there, and um, we'll see what my bike ride brings us. And, um, and then, of course, when we go to Bailey's, I'll see you in a little bit. Here I am on Galenda after we arrived at Kingston State Park, the beach where we sat down, had a little bit of a snack, both Jay and I just vegged out. And we actually got a lot of comments on our bikes. The snack bar, the store was not open yet, probably because it doesn't open till after Memorial Day. But the lake was really pretty and the water was, I thought, chilly, but there were a ton of people out there. Then we rode our bikes down to the boat launch. I always get nervous riding my bike on the street, especially on a weekend because it's busy. But we made it to the boat launch and oh my gosh, there was hardly anyone there. It was really nice. So we left the house. It's supposed to be like 90 degrees today and really hot. So we decided we were gonna get a, oh, do you hear the birds? We decided we were gonna get a ride in early if possible. So we left, I think it was probably, I don't know, maybe a little bit before 10, no 11 and um, packed up some water and a little snack and we decided to go to from our house to Kingston State Park to the beach. Jay's gonna fly his drone. And so we went to the beach and we had a snack. We sat there for like maybe a half hour, vegged out, let our butts rest. And then we decided to come here to the boat launch. So um, 
I think by the time it's all done, we'll have gone maybe 20 some odd miles or 25 miles today. And our goal was to get home before it got hot. We're having a blast, not gonna happen. I didn't turn it on in time. Here comes the boat launch. There it is. There is the guy. There's a silver bullet and there's a Glenda the Good Witch. And my foot is still pretty sore, so I am wearing Tevas because I can't get my foot into my sneakers. I need a pedicure badly. So I'm wearing my Tevas today because my sneakers would hurt my, my foot. Let's fly in the drone. What a sweet ride it was. The boat launch area. Oh, there it is. He's landing. Whoops. Coming over to see me, are you? Hi there. Hi there. <laughs> Don't land them in the water. Look at that smooth landing. Oh, you did good, Jay. I hope you hit the record button. Yeah. Sometimes he doesn't. <laughs> so when all was said and done, I did a little over 21 miles on this super hot Saturday 90 degrees today. Oh my gosh, now I need to pack for our trip. Okay, so for those of you that are interested, this is some clips from our camping trip. I ended up taking Sassy. Yes, we name our bikes, my little blue bike. When I arrived at the campground, Jay had set up most of it, although we did not take a whole lot of stuff out. You can see I'm more interested in taking pictures and videos of, of my bikes. And that was really the goal. We were going to do a lot of bike riding, but we needed to go and buy some food. So we went to Sam's Club. I love shopping with rewards. This entire basket cost me $14. And here I am riding my bike down at the beach. It was kind of chilly, but we did go to the beach and we did a bunch of trails. As you can see here, I love riding trails because there are no motor vehicles allowed on the trails, which is awesome. And usually the trails are pretty well groomed. We could take rest breaks and just sit and enjoy. And then back at the campground, I just was really fascinated. We had a little pond site, uh, pond front site, and you can see the little, little uh, fountain in the middle. Loved it. And then there was this area where there were kayaks and I took my granddaughter Paige down there. It was really lovely. She loved it. We had some really pretty sunsets at our campsite. We just had a totally relaxing time, although it was super active. I love just being there. We rode our bikes every single day. I think um, the weekend we ended up putting over 50 miles on our bikes. One day we drove down to Old Orchard Beach on our bikes, which was kind of dicey. And we met up with my son and my granddaughter, Paige, who came to visit. We took them back to the campsite and they spent, we had a little barbecue and they spent a good amount of time at the campsite. Michael, my son, he's my youngest, he ended up riding my bike, Sassy. He had never been on Sassy before and um, he ended up really loving it. He wouldn't wear my helmet though because of all the little blue butterflies, but just around the campground, it really wasn't bad. And Paige loved the kayak rental place. And this is just a video clip that I have. And I'm just gonna share with you a little bit of the campground view from the kayak rental place. Or if you had your own kayaks, you could just put them in there from the kayak launch. And this is me just walking back to our campsite. Bailey's is huge. I mean, it's a huge, huge resort. They have different sections. We were what they call in the south side 
the north side, um, I think the sites are smaller. The north side, there it's near one of the um, front entrance pools. I think they have four pools. They have three ponds. They have a ton of activities. So if you're into activities for kiddos, this is perfect. Down on the south side, where we were, the sites are tend to be bigger. Because we've got a 40-footer, we wanted to... You know, we didn't want to have a whole bunch of like it's trying coming. to navigate around tight sites and all that. So we stayed pond front, which was just the luck of the draw. I mean, we just caught a cancellation. And that's the only reason we were up here Memorial Day weekend. Because if we didn't have a cancellation, we wouldn't have been able to get into a really good site on that such short notice. So our site was really perfect. We already rebooked for next year, same weekend. And, you know, I think we really like Bailey's because there's just so much you can do when you're at Bailey's and so many different things. If you're into the beach, tons of beach is really pretty spot. Oh, look at your setup. How cute. Oh, thank you. That's adorable. I did, that all did you? No. You are, you are My so. Wife heard me, she'd kill me. <laughs> you're so oh, handy. It's all her. <laughs> it's all her. It's awesome. Thank you. It's raining out. And the people are super, super friendly. So one day we rode our bikes north and our goal was to try to find bug light in South Portland, Maine. The first day we didn't make it, but then we did on the last day. You can see we rode all the way up to bug light and it was just, it was exhausting because there was a lot of street crossings and at times it wasn't super marked. So for our first time we did okay, we found it. Better than the first day that we tried to find it when we couldn't find it at all. Right, right. We made it here. And we did. Then, of course, we had to have an ice cream, right? We had to reward ourselves. And then that evening, or sh I should say late afternoon, we went to the pool. I was totally covered with a ton of sunblock. And we did the hot tub, which is a in the shade, actually. And I swam in the pool. It was really nice. And this is just one of the beach spots down in Scarsboro that we rode our bikes to. You could walk this from the campground, but we rode our bikes. Just absolutely loved it. Just perfect. So we got home a little bit ago. It's it's um, Tuesday. We we always leave the day after the holiday. So if the holiday weekend, you know, if it's a big one like Memorial Day or Fourth of July, and um, we never leave on that Monday, mainly because we do not want to have traffic issues. So we we left Tuesday. I left really early Tuesday morning. I went to work. And um, Jay left Tuesday later in the day, so now I'm home, and and we've been emptying out the. Um, Jay took most of the perishables out of the refrigerator because the refrigerator has been giving us fits. So who knows, right? And so I, I just don't want to leave anything in the refrigerator that could could spoil. So been doing that, carried in all the laundry, got rid of all the the dirty clothes and all that got, that piled up to do. When I got a message from my surgeon. So I'm supposed to have the Mohs surgery tomorrow, Wednesday, June 1st. And I have two surgeons. I have the person that's going to do the Mohs in the morning, first thing in the morning. And because they don't really know how long it's going to take, et cetera, um, you know, they kind of like clear that whole time frame. And then I have the plastic surgeon who was going to be doing the closing of the procedure in the afternoon. But anyways, the plastic surgeon is sick. So my most procedure, unless I just want the regular surgeon to close, which initially they had recommended that I have the plastic surgeon. So that's why I, I went that route. So anyways, long story short, I'm so bummed. I mean, I was really looking forward to getting this over with and now it's delayed and who knows? I'm hoping I get, you know, I'm hoping I get some sort of date soon but i really don't know the the saving the the one nice thing about this is i do have two events i've got a company event on thursday which is an opening of a new um, office location right on the vermont border so i would definitely want to go up to hanover it's like an hour and a half two hour ride for me 
And I was definitely planning on going to that, the open house for that new office. And I figured I was going to have a big honking whatever on my face. And then Thursday night is my granddaughter's uh, concert. So I wanted to go do that. So at least I'll be able to do those two things without a big honking thing on my face and looking scary. But I really am bummed that it's delayed. And you can probably tell by looking at me, I'm tired. It's been a long day. I don't have a little ton of makeup on. Um, yeah. So anyways, I just might end this here. I'm not too sure, but uh, I think I will. I'll end this vlog here because I'm sure it's going to be getting long by the time I piece everything together on our trip. Hope you enjoyed it. Bailey's Resort in Scottsboro, Maine. It's like right off of Old Orchard Beach, very, very close to Old Orchard Beach. And um, it is a huge, huge camp resort. We really, really enjoy it. I think we enjoy it because there's so many different things you can do in that area. And for us, it's by car, it's about an hour and a half ride. And by motorhome a little bit, it takes longer in the big rig. So, and Jay topped off on his way home today. He, um, we decided because we have diesel fuel and the cost of diesel fuel is astronomical. So we decided after each trip, he was going to top off so that it would be a smaller hit. Although it wasn't all that small. If he put 60 gallons in at $6 a gallon, you can do the math. It's still a big hit. But anyways, that's, yeah, I can't believe the surgery is delayed. Oh my gosh. Anyways, thanks so much for watching my vlog. I'm going to do an update on some hair products that I've been using. So look for that video and a couple of wig reviews as well. So thank you all so much, guys. You have a wonderful day and I'll see you in my next video.